This is Verbal Nonsense, and today we're talking about a pretty hot planet. Likened to pretty much everything. Was that Mustafar? Mustafar? Was that Revenge of the Sith? Anakin Skywalker getting his limbs chopped off? I think so. Obi-Wan has the high ground here, but apparently it's 390 million... I don't know. No, it's 390, 390 light years away. I don't know. I, I, you, you talk about space, you just want to say million. Every time. Yeah. It's like million. A million big numbers small numbers if you're talking about our debt but 4350 degrees fahrenheit that's it's a hot, hot planet. it's hot it's a hot place um 2400 degrees celsius for you europeans landlocked from your coronavirus or Apparently, stuff like uh, that called wasp 76b <laughs> That's such a weird name. Wasp. What? You get some stingers. That's what they're calling this rain, apparently. No, they're really not. I made that up. But there's iron basically condenses on the uh, on the sun side because it's super hot. And then uh, as the... Apparently the wind. Yeah, apparently uh, it vaporizes and then recondenses on the night side of the planet. Um, and then comes back down. Molten, molten iron. I keep wanting to say lava because that just sounds cool but um through my brief research of magma that i i did some years ago i barely remember much of it but um there's quite a few different types of magma and very few of them actually contain iron the majority of it is just molten rock and granite and things of that nature so can't really say lava unless all the rare lava is on this planet. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's rare. And then here. you have the uh, strong winds. Oh yeah, on that planet, eleven thousand miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. That's Eight, or that's eighteen thousand kilometers. <laughs> and I, I say that constantly sweeps the planet. Constant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what were you saying? The, um, the rotation like matches uh, its rotation yeah, around ma their, their star. Yeah, yeah, its rotation matches its orbit speed. So it's oh, the sunny side is always facing. Yeah, like the uh, star. Like it, it doesn't like ours. The you know the sun where the where constantly the sunlight's moving. It's always on the same side of the planet. I think Mercury because, is another one that's like that. Where it, or or but our moon, our moon does that, doesn't it? And it constantly, we got one face. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. So? I, mm. I'm not a star galaxy moonologist guy, so don't know. Don't. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I, but um, essentially, so I guess basically their atmosphere or their clouds of iron, I guess, just get pushed around. Yeah, they're saying this is the first time they've seen iron condensation uh, uh, on any planet. It's just, they said there's no telling whether it's a steady drizzle, a downpour, or what else might be raining down besides iron, but, you know. Yeah, so, so you also need a sturdy umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Preferably made of a metal that melts at a much higher temperature. Higher temperature. You think of any anything that... Higher than 2,700 degrees. <laughs> Celsius, uh, yeah, I, no, I can't, I don't know, I'm sure there's some out there, there are probably, uh, if you're in a metallurgy, uh, let us know what, what level, what, I, what, yeah, what yeah, might sustain that, what might sustain that, because, I mean, Google's there, but I don't feel like using it, and if we make an umbrella out of it, will it be too heavy, ooh, that's a good question, yeah. that's a good question, this is, um, they say it's a Jupiter-like planet, but they're also estimating that it's twice the size of Jupiter. It was discovered just a few years ago. Oh, Jupiter's a pretty big planet, isn't it? Yeah. It's our largest. Dang. It's a big one. I can't remember. You could probably fit, like, somewhere between one and five million Earths in it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's huge. It's huge. Um, uh, wow, it takes less than two days for it to orbit its star. This thing is humming. 
It, it's it's cruising along. That thing is humming. Holy cow! That is, I don't know how I didn't catch that the first time around. I must have just skipped that paragraph. Uh, yeah. Apparently, it was discovered uh, just a couple of years ago. That's that's insane. I've been seeing a lot of memes about this planet, and I wasn't that interested until you actually sent me the article. Of course, there's the uh, the doom doom eternal memes. Basically, uh, it, we might have found hell. I don't know. It, it's up there somewhere. Uh, <laughs> it still gets me with the eleven thousand mile an hour winds. That's just crazy. That's uh that's skin tearing. Yeah, yeah you know, that's skin I mean, tearing. You'd probably be vaporized immediately I between mean, that and the heat. Yeah, they give pretty harsh <laughs> warnings on just like fifty psi out of an air hose. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, take the heat away. I think that's enough wind to just, just debone you. I imagine it'd be hard. To, like if we we got to a point where we could get a a space vessel out that far, trying to land something in that atmosphere between the heat and uh, metal metal that's being whipped around at like eleven thousand miles an hour. We might we might think about. Um... You know, a Star Trek teleporter. Before we may, we may want to have four decide to even then. go that direction. <laughs> There's no telling what's between there and here. Apparently, and not decide, much if they manage to find this with a telescope. And uh, decide whether or not that planet would even be worth going to. <laughs> Is there anything worthwhile on this planet? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say really no. I don't think our spaceships will be made out of iron. So, nah. Uh, nah. Maybe it's uh, the uh, the forge that um, I don't know what they use. Avengers get new axe thing for Thor. I don't know. That movie is so stupid. <laughs> Freaking what was that? In game or whatever? I have no idea. I've played yeah. video games with better graphics than that. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Well, yeah. I don't know. I Not don't... much more to say about it. Not much more no. to say about Wasp seventy six B. I wonder where A's at and what it's got going on. Turns out that there's know. actually like know. Wasp seventy six A is actually a, a giant celestial wasp nest that they found. I want to know what uh, the other seventy five A and B. Uh, planets look like i don't know <laughs> yeah. i mean if there's a 76b i mean yeah to, 70, i guess that's reason to say 76A, uh, at least an or a, a or a wasp a and a wasp b wasp and then a. A. oh yeah and then wasp 2a and b oh. i don't know i'm assuming it has something to do with the settings they have to put in their uh their telescopes or whatever i don't know maybe maybe not maybe they're just Got a I'm not that interested. <laughs> dartboard of letters, and they're like, "Oh, if you shuffle them around, they spell wasp, or just uh, numbers, and then some random words." Yeah, yeah. Oh. This planet is named Flower Thirty Six A. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or Twenty Four Z. It is pure cyanide gas. <laughs> Flower. <Yes. laughs> Six people mm. die from observing Flower 764B with the newly invented smelloscope. Smells <laughs> uh, like almonds. <laughs> Look with your eyes, not with your nose. Oh my goodness. Well, goodness gracious. Yep. All right. If you enjoyed our content, please like and favorite and subscribe and do all that good noise. We've got some social media links in the description as well as some other information. Visit down there our that, Facebook page. You'll yeah, like you it can there. do that too. Yeah, it's kind of dead, actually. I'm just kidding. It's not dead. We're just waiting, waiting for you to talk. And we post our videos there as well. So if you just don't enjoy YouTube and whatever, you can just go there. I don't know. As long as you still hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.